Walking into Balvenie. Mm -hmm. Is it Balvenie or Balvenie? Balvenie. Let's see all these flies. Uh, really? You, man. You two men were supposed to take care of this. I know. <laughs> what? So many times. Oh no. Oh no. What if they all need reservations? I know. I so. How do you know? You didn't even look. I told you guys. Teresa told you. So many times. I'm like, you guys need to take care of the distillery stuff. Ask if we can just go in. Yeah, just ask. We're here. I mean, we're here. We're here. We came from America. Just say, can we make a reservation right now? For five minutes <laughs> from now. If not, we'll hit up the next one. So we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize that Men can't we need do to anything. have a reservation for Balvini. <laughs> so we're uh, and Teresa's getting angry. Gonna go down there and beg them that we stupid Americans don't read instructions. <laughs> That's so typical. She'd be mad at you too. Why? I didn't do it. Yeah, she said you guys take care of the scotch stuff. She planned like almost everything else. We're getting turned away. But I have a reservation. Singh's in trouble now. So are you. Teresa assigned this to both of the men. No, Singh was doing it. I trusted Singh. He booked our flight. You did Airbnb. <laughs> But you guys were together supposed to figure out the distillery tours. What happened? Denied? Yeah, they got only these small groups. So that's the distillery, which we was amazing. Denied at. <laughs> Never drinking Balvini again. <laughs> <laughs> It all seems to have some kind of lake. So, welcome once again to Glen Fiddick. We've come to the home of whiskey and we've got more and more and more What do you think about the tour so far? It's cool. You learn a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah. I just like the part where it's interactive and you get to smell it. Yeah. And I get to use my other senses. So they use bourbon barrels and cherry. Cherry. cherry Spanish cherry barrels. Yes. <laughs> Sing's in trouble. You are too. You're getting a hit from it too. We didn't book any distillery tours, so this is the only one we'll go to. You're gonna get the beating. And uh, <laughs> we'll just go to a, a liquor store, buy some, and just get smashed. And Sang will read to us from the website. And Sang will give us a tour. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go chase but some he sheep. Needs to wear a kilt. <laughs> we're gonna go chase some sheep. All right, so we're gonna go taste. Some delicious so scotch. Part. From the next one. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. What do you smell? When I smell it, it reminds me of many nights of drunken partying <laughs> in our house. <laughs> <laughs> Scarily is immediately what I think of. It's your tongue, but 
I mean, it's burning, but it's smooth and you can drink it without coughing. So we learned that McCallan sold out and is making shitty scotch and Glenfiddich is the best. I don't normally drink it in Glenfiddich. Yeah. I tend to like Glen Livid actually. Yeah? Yeah. Hello. But Hi. I'm hello. I'm not a connoisseur, so who knows, right? Alright, so we got a uh you European snack, marmite. This is from Scotland. Rice cakes, Which from uh, Scotland. So it says it's uh, rice cakes will never have to be bland and boring again now that we've baked them with lovely marmite. Interesting. It smells like dog food. Great. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Initial taste is weird. Mm, it reminds me of like fish jerky. If you were fish, jerky? fish jerky? That doesn't sound that bad. Try it. Oh man. Here we go. I think you can get accustomed to it, but I don't know if I'd ever crave that. Just try it, Tracy. Try it while you're here. Marmite. Is that yeast? It's very salty. Oh. What's Teresa's react? It's not that bad. Damn, <laughs> she's hungry. It tastes like a Korean snack. You say that about I think I was expecting something really bad. I mean, she's hungry. I'm saying the reaction. What's your. Very salty. <laughs> Snack number two, haggis and cracked black pepper Damn, potato I crisps. Like like oh, it's like black. Oh no. That's the color of haggis though, isn't it? Actually, I like it. It's good. Keys. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, it's like barbecue chips, but not as strong and I like it. That one's good. Oh, it's salty at the end though. I think it's worth visiting. That don't taste like haggis, it's just <laughs> barbecue chips. <laughs> it does taste good. Yeah, it does taste like barbecue. Right? Barbecue. Like a mild barbecue. And then it's um, salty and spicy at the end. That's barbecue chips. 